even his own mother. And that's why the boy was by himself. Most of the time he was ostracized. And the others would play with him, people would take on drinks with him, talk with him. And so he wandered alone. And you know, when you're left to your own devices, the only positive thing to do is to be creative. And the boy saw a piece of wood on the floor and he picked it up and he studied it and he thought about it and he took a knife and he began to whittle away at it. Eventually, he made a flute. He tried to play it, but the sound was awful and it just cut people off even more. But the boy, um, he didn't stop there. He carried on trying. He would sit on a wall by the garden every day and try to play his flute. And because he kept at it, and because his thoughts were so beautiful, the music that he began to make as he sat there began to become He was wearing a 
golden turban. He was wearing a cape that went to the floor. Around his waist, he had a belt swinging with bags of gold. The girls who were outside of the tent swooned when they saw him and began to giggle hysterically. He was so handsome. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a white stallion arrived as though it was there just for him. The handsome young man jumped onto the horse and galloped away. He galloped straight to the young girl's house. He jumped down from the horse. He went to the front door and called. The father of the house came to the door and looked at the young man. Sir, he said, I have come here for your daughter's hand in marriage. Well, the father looked him up and down. He saw how handsome he was and how well dressed, and he couldn't take his eyes off those bags of gold. Wait there, he said. Judge, don't, don't step away. Stand just there. And he went back into the garden. And there was his daughter. You are going to love me, said the father. I've just found your husband. Come with me. And so, the girl followed her father to the front door. And there was the handsome young man waiting. Daughter, he said, here is your husband to be. This is who you will marry. And the girl stood with her head bowed. Father, she said, if you insist, I shall marry this man. But do not ask me to love him. What? said the father. What? I tell you, she said, I will marry him, for I am a loyal daughter. But do not ask me to love him. Every day and see.